Hi, welcome to day 20 of uh, 30 days of AI in testing challenge by the Ministry of Testing. And my today's challenge is to learn about AI self-healing test. I mean, how are they and how effective are they? So there are two approaches for, or options that were given. First, if somebody uses an AI tool, then how their experience has been testing out the claims of that AI self-healing tool. But if not, then the part was to actually read out articles and papers and web materials on this topic and uh, see how it helps, what benefits it does and so on along with limitations. So I, I did that study and I've made this mind map like every day. So the context is that uh, this is done for this thir 30 days of uh, AI in testing challenge and uh, today we are on day 20th. Uh, and let's start with looking at the problem. So the problem is that 74% uh, of automated tests fail due to brittle locators. So that's that's uh, data that come out from study that uh, the majority reason or the biggest trailer reason for failure in automation tests is locator changes or locator flakiness. The reason is, I mean, uh, frequent code changes are happening, element rendering issues sometimes that the element is not able to render on the page, it's still loading and the automation library is trying to interact with it causing issues or the XPath ID is changing and so on. Now the effects are uh, of this problem are that it actually slows down the CI CD and uh, sometimes people get failures, they think it's a functional failure but it's actually a script failure which is like a false positive, false negative kind of a scenario and then it reduces confidence. So uh, when there are too much failures and team is all the time working on uh, reducing and uh, fixing those expats and ID, it actually puts down the confidence of from automation of the stakeholders. So now what is the solution? And uh, to, to understand the solution, I mean, uh, there are three parts to it. So first is that uh, uh, self-healing of locators have to be developed which means uh, teams and uh, solutions ha have to work on capturing element information beyond just one ID or X path. So usually they do it by capturing the size of element, the visual configuration, neighboring text, what is the text on that element, its location on the page, its relativity from parent and child, sibling info, what is the text that it contains. So capturing all those details and then building a multifaceted model. So not just storing like one aspect of the element, but it's storing multiple parameters and then using all those parameters to diagnose the problem whenever you're not able to find or interact with any locator. And then like if the failure is because of a locator issue, then update the locator and update the model with this detail that this was the ID and like by changing it to this, now it works and so on. So AI automatically updates these locators and this, this is also a, a visual depiction of, of this cycle where like objective is not found, then a self healing listener will look into the DOM and identify the object and then AI algorithm computes the score for the object that how likely it is to be the same object. Then the auto healing execution happens. If it works, then that data gets updated in the repository. So that's a high level solution. Now, what is the benefit of this uh, approach is that it certainly brings in a code efficiency and robust testing. The tests don't break. It reduces the maintenance effort and uh, overall improve enables the CI CD and uh, faster testing cycles, reduces false positives. So all those issues which are pretty evident uh, are the positives, but like there is this sad reality or a hard reality with this that is, I mean, most commercial tools don't reveal algorithm yet. So when you read the material from commercial tools, they will tell you that this is how you have to use AI self healing from our tool, but they don't tell you the back backend logic, how they are doing it. And uh, self healing features usually come coupled with commercial tools. So with Selenium or Playwright, I mean, such, such, such self-healing capabilities uh, are not coming directly uh, as algorithms and so on. And I mean, uh, if there is such a facility, then you cannot use it independent of the tool. So uh, a tool a self-healing capability would work only through that. So that's, that's a reality. So there are no general approaches which can be mixed and matched tools or 
things that can be learned from one tool and applied to other or uh, a commercial tool will reveal the algorithm so that you can build something like this on your own so that's uh, the reality uh, in my context i have mostly work on api and and stuff like that so this is certainly not applicable but uh, that's uh, my learning today for the day 20 of third of ai in testing challenge thank you and see you tomorrow bye